Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. So, I, I mean, I, I would prefer, I mean, to be referred to as a social and political historian. That notwithstanding, uh, uh, having uh, had the occasion to speak to some of these issues, especially since 2012, what I realize is that every uh, leader in this country and every citizen of this country, including the political parties who are major actors, have shown keen interest in transitioning from 1992 up till now concerning how we have managed the electoral process. We have moved from uh, opaque, if you like, uh, ballot boxes to transparent ballot boxes. Uh, these processes came about as a result of, if you like, compromise. And so in several instances where we have not even had consensus, we've had the opportunity for the major actors and interest groups to work with the commission and the commissioner at the time to be able to give us some gains within our electoral process. Register. Whether we want to define it as not credible or credible, it has given victory, if you like, to both the NDC and the NPP, who are the de facto two political parties that have, if you like, run the system, the political system since 1992. Where we are now, I think that we can do without a new electoral register. Two reasons. One, that certain individuals within this country will be disenfranchised because they would not have the occasion to go through the process of getting their case heard on case-by-case -case basis before we come to the day of election on 7 December. Every Ghanaian citizen who is 18 years old and has a sound mind, without any encumbrances, should have the right to vote during the election day. Any act or action within this period that has the tendency or the proclivity to disenfranchise such individual or individuals within the state must be curtailed or controlled or stopped with, with, with some degree of speed. The question as to who is a Ghanaian, the question as to uh, what kind of ID card and all that also, I mean, that, that, that is required to be used, also lead us to further discussions because these issues themselves can further exacerbate the problems that we are talking about because it will lead to some qualms, it will lead to some questions to be answered. And within the process, how whatever has been put in place by the Electoral Commission and its commissioner, to survey the situation cannot ameliorate the entire problem. In that regard, it will also further exacerbate the question of disenfranchisement. So once people will be disenfranchised, because we have short and limited time to do this,